Welcome in this video in which we are going to learn how to create a simple program in Ladder. To create a new program, I right click on the program section and I choose New LD Program. I click on the default name to rename it and I'm going to write the name My LD Program. Okay. Now I will open the local dictionary in order to create the variables that I will need in this program. I will use the quick declaration. So I select 10 boolean beginning by my var. So my var 1 to my var 10. I can open now the program to write the logic. The ladder language is a graphical language. It's like an electrical drawing where you have a power rail on the left, the current is going through contacts and is energizing coils on the right. So to write my logic, I'm going to insert some contacts. So in the toolbox, I have all the elements corresponding to the ladder language. I'm going to insert an opened contact and I select a variable. I do the same for a close contact. It means that the current is going through this contact when the variable will be false. And I insert a coil on the right. I can insert a branch. A branch means a boolean OR. So I will do a OR between these two contacts. With the spacebar, I can change the type of my contact. I can also select a contact and open the property windows to change the type of my contact in this property. I will insert now a block and I'm going to do an addition. So I have to create some analog variables. I'm creating now a variable dint1 which is a double integer and I do an addition, I add 10 to this variable and I write the result in the same variable. With the shortcut Ctrl R, I will select the manual input mode. It means that I'm going to draw my logic, so to insert my contact and coils, without having to select a variable each time. I can also use shortcuts to insert ladder elements like branch, contact, blocks and so on. So I will insert another contact here and a coil at the end. Some more contacts and another one here. I will change to close contact. And after that I have to select the variable I want to attach to each contact. So I can just drag and drop one variable from my dictionary to the contact. I can also double click on my contact and select a variable in the variable selector or create a new one if I need a new one. And I can just click and write the name of my variable and select it in the list. I will do the same for the coil and I will leave one contact empty. So I'm going now to compile my program and of course I will have a compiling error telling me that a boolean variable in is missing on this contact. So I will select one boolean variable. Okay, my program should compile now. Good. I'm going to open a, a new already made program to show you another plugin which is the document of a view. So this one is a big program and I will select the document of a view which will open on the right. So in the document of a view I have the view of my full program and I can zoom in the left part 
on a specific part of my program. So with my mouse I can zoom in and zoom out and select the part I want to see in the left side. The last thing I have to explain concerning the ladder is a specificity of function and function block. A function and function block can be used with or without enable enable out parameters. If the, these parameters are used, the enable is connected to the power rail. If the enable enable out are not used, it's the first input which is connected to the power rail. For example, in this function, the first input is a Boolean one. If I change this first input to an analog variable, of course this analog variable cannot be connected to the power rail. So in this case, if I reselect my function, the enable, enable out parameters are automatically created. I just create the two variables, double integer type, to connect to my function. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or superworld at isagraph.com.